As the administration moves closer to completing its first year in office, the citizenry also are looking forward to judging its performances so far. To begin the march to the first year anniversary, let's play a recent conversation with the Commissioner for Information on the plans and programs put in place by the state to fulfill its electoral promises. The governor basically was running the government with, you know, civil servants. I mean, he, you know, came from the system. He understands the system very well. And he was able to, you know, properly stabilize and reinvigorate, you know, uh, 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 the civil service. You know, a lot of reforms, you know, were made. A few ministries, you know, were matched. You know, uh, different ministries were carved out just to give proper bearing you know, uh, to the business of governance. So uh, before you can now say that, yes, let's, you know, let us rule, uh, the governor thought, and it was a very brilliant idea to now, you know, bring everybody on, on board, more than 100 people, you know, at the retreat for four days. And it was very, you know, illuminating. The biggest thing that was achieved was the fact that we looked at the developmental plans of Lagos. You know, there are four pillars, you know, upon which the development uh, plans for Lagos uh, from 2012 to 2025, you know, uh, uh, will rest economic development, infrastructural development, social development, and sustainable environment. Uh, what we came out with from the retreat was to um, plan and work towards allowing this present government administration to rest on, 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 on a tripod, uh, the issue of security, which is very jamming, which is very paramount, uh, the issue of infrastructure development, and then uh, employment and job creation. So everybody came out of that retreat, being on the same page, you know, ready to roll as it were, everybody ready to take charge of his or our ministry so that we can deliver a dividends of democracy to Lagosians, more than 21 million of them, you know, waiting eagerly to see change manifest. How does the state government intend to carry out appraisal of performance of ministries? The first thing that His Excellency the Governor did, you know, was to, you know, give out charges to each commissioner and special advisor. Uh, you know, of course, that there are a few uh, responsibilities that were not there before. So it would be easy to measure performance. And there are parameters, you know, uh, 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 with which uh, each uh, member of cabinet, you know, will be assessed. Uh, the Ministry of um, Budget and Economic Planning is in charge of that. Every month, you know, performance has been, will be measured, you know, every quarter. The same way that the, His Excellency, the Governor himself, you know, will go out uh, every quarter to render, you know, his account to the people directly. It is the same manner that each, you know, cabinet member, each ministry on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, you know, uh, going by the parameters set by the uh, Ministry of uh, Budget and Economic Planning to say that this is what I've been able to achieve because the charge is very clear, it's very specific. You will have to deliver or you will have to, uh, you know, have your uh, uh, charge reviewed. On resumption, we expected that the state government will quickly carry on some of the projects left by the immediate past administration. But we see discover that this project has still been there as if they are abandoned. And that's the general feeling we're getting for the public. I can assure you, Kelvin, that there won't be any single project uh, of the past administration that will be abandoned. And there's no slowing down whatsoever, anywhere. Uh, what the governor has said, uh, and rightly so, is that without a doubt, there will be continuity. This government is about continuity. It is the same party. It is the same vision. Uh, it is the same government, so to speak, but there will be continuity with improvement. That's what His Excellency has promised. Um, the first thing he did for four and a half months, as I said earlier, you know, was to properly, properly dissect, you know, what was on ground, you know, see the areas where, you know, it will require a few adjustments here and there, you know, without, of course, tampering with the spirit of continuity with which we, you know, uh, 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 canvass for votes. You mentioned the Ikorodu, uh, uh, a road project. You recall, of course, that uh, His Excellency, the former governor, uh, 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 Mr. Fashola, uh, commissioned that road. I can assure you that there is nothing, uh, the little that is remaining of that road, in terms of you know, uh, lighting, in terms of you know, a little uh, uh, upping up the infrastructure uh, uh, development,
development around there will be completed. But that's not even one of the major areas that His Excellency you know, is looking at because that's almost like a done deal project. Uh, it is the mile to Badagri Road, for example, with a light rate pro project. And His Excellency has spoken about that you know, extensively. Uh, that project will be completed because it's a major, major project. It's probably one of the biggest uh, projects undertaken, you know, by the previous administration. And it will be foolhardy to abandon, you know, that sort of a project. Uh, what His Excellency has said regarding that project is that it will require a different package in terms of uh, 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 raising the funds and the finances, you know, to complete it. Uh, why is this necessary? It is necessary because uh, uh, it was realized that essentially it's commercial, commercial loans and bonds, you know, that were used to finance it. What the governor, uh, His Excellency, uh, Governor Kim Mwambodi has done, you know, upon resumption is to take a second look at, you know, some of these exposures in terms of bank loans and to restructure, you know, uh, uh, before he came, uh, the state was paying, uh, 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 the interest rate was about 18%. What the governor has done is to renegotiate, you know, and reschedule, you know, the timing of the loan and has succeeded in bringing it down to 12.5%. What will be done is not to, you know, is not to abandon or to, not to complete it, but to um, look for a better package with the governor has promised so that before or just about the end of next year, you will witness the completion of that major road. And that applies to you know, all the other projects embarked upon by the previous government. It is continuity. It is the same party. Uh, all those projects will be completed. New projects are being initiated, particularly in the area of road infrastructure, you know, uh, IPP, etc. cetera. So uh, people should uh, nurse no fear whatsoever you know, uh, as regards the direction of this government. No, it is the same APC government. It is the same progressive, you know, template that is being used, but it will have to be uh, uh, continuity with improvement. On several occasions, the governor keeps emphasizing on public sector reform, particularly uh, the legal state civil service. How important is this reform to the development of the state? The civil service, uh, basically runs the business of government. Uh, the private sector runs the economy, so to speak, because it is not the direct business of government to create jobs. The business of government is to create an enabling environment so that the private sector, which you know, employs larger you know, uh, percentage of, of, of workers anyway, you know, so that the private sector can thrive, you know, it will be determined by them. And therefore, the need to get it right from that point is essential before, otherwise, you know, there will be a bit of confusion. This is not a government that will neglect civil service and start bringing in different forms of consultants. Yes, there will be the need for consultants to contribute in certain areas, but do not neglect those public servants who understand the system who are being paid to improve on the system, you know, uh, there's no need not to allow them to do their job. And of course, once it gets it right with the public sector, the private sector will have no issues dealing or understanding the business of government, you know, understanding the policies of government, you know, understanding the direction, you know, of, of the states. It is important, you know, and that's what the governor is doing. And that's all on this week's package of the program. And just a reminder, our social media platforms are there for your comments and feedback. Thanks for watching. I'm Loretta Chiogo. See you again next week, God willing. Bye for now.